Hey everybody, I'm Count. I uh, speedrun Kengo Master Bushido on the PS2, the tournament mode. Uh, I'm the current world record holder, actually. Um, and I'm going to make this tutorial to basically show you how this game is played, because it's kind of confusing if you don't actually know what you're doing. So, first thing to mention about this game is every fighter has four stances, which are mapped to the shoulder buttons. Um, so, basically, uh, if I'm going to get a little bit closer here... Uh, right now, I believe I'm in the R2 stance. That's what you always start in. So... That's how the moveset for that looks. Uh, now if I switch to L2, I'm doing horizontal slashes instead of the um, uh, diagonal ones. This game basically operates in two states. Uh, far away from your opponent, close to your opponent. If you're far away, pressing uh, pretty much anything will make you stand there and yell, Do ya! That fills up your uh, meter in the bottom left faster. When you're close, uh, your moveset changes up a little bit. So, X is block, circle is attack, square is parry, and triangle when you're up close uh, tries to initiate your special attack. I will show that in a bit. It's not quite that simple though, because basically uh, the X or the, the attack button circle uh, kind of has a different function depending on where you're pressing the analog stick. So this is neutral. Just a combo. Um, if you're pressing the analog stick halfway forward, so basically um, as if you were uh, walking in any sort of like standard 3D game, if you press it a little forward and press circle, you will always do that move. It does not matter what character or what move set you have. Uh, if you press it full all the way forward, uh, you do that. Uh, half left or right, it's a spinning attack, full left or right. This a uh, sideways slash, and um, half back is that, full back is a thrust. Um, ba you basically learn how to do that as time goes on, but the only one that's actually a combo is neutral. Um, movement in this game. Movement is completely messed up. Uh, so watch how I turn the analog stick here, and um, notice how it affects my movement. So I'm still holding down. Now if I start rotating the analog stick, whoops, uh, I ended up uh, basically far away. But you might have gotten the idea that tilting the analog stick after you started moving does absolutely nothing. You continue moving in the same direction. Say I move forward and then tilt down. Do doesn't change until I actually get uh, close enough to where I'm to where I touch him. Movement in this game is very finicky and very hard to explain. It's something you really have to get a feel for. So the other probably most important uh, strategy when it comes to... Well, not, not strategy, but um, the other most important thing to know in this game is that blocking in the middle of an attack yeah. will cancel it. Yeah. So there's uh, the do-ya meter, as I call it, in the lower uh, left, which um, increases... Yeah. Whenever you hit an enemy, uh, whenever an enemy hits you, uh, whenever you back off, oops. And start screaming, do ya. And it will decrease. Well, I actually just found this out because blocking in this game is weird. So if you're already holding the X button, when the enemy attacks like this, blocking it will drain a uh, uh, key. I, I believe it's actually called a key meter. I call it the do-ya meter. It'll drain your do-ya meter. However, if you are, if you start your block after they attack, so I'm just going to sit here and um, actually mash X on my right controller and attack. Whoops. Oh my god. It's it's very hard to actually do this properly is the problem. Because um basically you have to be directly facing an opponent to block them, but the game is a little specific as to whether or not you're actually facing them, so we'll try that again. Yeah, if you notice, uh the do ya meter in the lower right did not decrease, but if I'm 
Uh, holding it, it does decrease. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you're blocking, uh, or if you're holding block, uh, someone can wombo combo you like that. It took me forever to figure out what exactly made that happen. It turns out it's holding block instead of uh, tapping it when they actually attack you. Again, very hard to actually explain some of the concepts in this game. So when your do ya meter is empty, as I was trying to say, your attacks are slower. Let's see. Um, the game is a little weird as to what constitutes actually an empty meter. As you could see there, in the um, player two's health meter was pretty much empty there for a while, and eventually he just died. That's because he was bleeding. The health meter is red. That's also a factor in this game. Explain everything except the special moves. So, um... Uh, basically, you execute your special move when um, you press triangle, and at the end of that little animation there, you do, your do ya meter is full. Um, special moves can be blocked, they can be dodged, uh, just like anything else. They can even be parried. Um, oh yeah, that's another thing, is parrying. Uh, basically, just gotta time your square press after the opponent starts their attack. Like so. Uh, if you press it uh, before, like, um, whoops. There we go. Come on. If you press it before, like this, it's not going to work. It has to be after. It, please. Please parry. Okay. Um, I, I guess you also have to be facing them, like with blocking. Again, it's very hard to figure out how things actually work in this game. It's very bizarre. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put the second controller down and get into a run. So this is tournament mode. As I mentioned, I always play as Kotaro because um, his L2 is the horizontal slashes. They are very fast with him, um, as opposed to most other characters who um, have slower attacks in general. I find the faster attacks to be just more reliable in actually catching the enemy. Um, he also has the best special move in the game. He shares that with... Um, the first character on the select screen. I don't remember what his name is off the top of my head. So, first uh, 18 fights. My strategy is basically to run forward and mash circle. At the end of fight one, I switched my L2 stance, so I have the um, uh, horizontal slashes going. You can see there, um, if you don't switch your attacks, you can kill them faster. Uh... The problem is, it's very inconsistent. It's hard to do, like, probably more than once in the uh, first ten fights. So I don't really uh, bother with it. And you, you can probably see here uh, a little better if I get closer. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is... I run forward. I'm mashing circle with my right hand. And I'm... Uh, tapping X at the end of my combos to cancel out of the animation. And that's basically the first 10 fights right there. After that, the strategy is largely to either constantly attack your opponent or to get behind them. Neither of which are actually particularly easy to do sometimes. There's really not much to say for these first few fights. If somebody blocks you, just keep mashing circle. If somebody backs up, uh, run back towards them, keep mashing circle. Um, the way this game cues inputs is very weird, and it's very, very hard to understand sometimes. Uh, sometimes you'll press the parry button, and the game will just attack. I don't know why this happens. It just does. Uh, sometimes you'll... Um, Sometimes an animation cancel just won't go through. Uh, you just have to live with that. <laughs> and then I'll get a little closer here so you can see. Now you can see there I didn't do the uh, running attack because I released the stick before I got to him. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. So around fight 10 is where I like to start actually keeping my left hand on the analog stick. So basic, if I can get closer, 
So basically the way I do the animation cancel one-handed is I keep tapping, tapping circle and I basically roll my finger over to the X once the uh, combo's done. So um, I, I did for, forget to mention that dodging, uh, much like attacking, uh, is dependent on where you're pressing the analog stick. So um, if you're pressing the analog stick um, like halfway in a direction when you dodge, I believe you'll just do a sidestep. And if you're pressing it all the way left or left or right relative to the opponent, uh, it's going to be um, uh, a roll. And I believe the speed of that also deter uh, is uh, determined by your Duya meter, but I could be wrong. So again, idea is just to try to get behind him and catch him when he's not uh, blocking. Uh, later on, parrying will probably be the easiest way to get behind somebody, and it also fills up your meter uh, a lot. It's just really hard to pull off because, as I mentioned, uh, you have to press the square button after they've already began their attack. See, I missed time to parry there. Yeah, in these early fights, um, it's not really worth it to bother trying to fill up your Duya do do meter too much because... Um, these guys just rel generally go down relatively easy. I don't bother filling up my Duya meter all that much unless I plan on using my special attack. Which I usually start doing at fight 19. And I should probably mention also, the camera in this game, you have no control over it. Uh, you cannot control which way the camera swings. It's, it's a pain. You just get used to it, basically. Of course, with movement being dependent on the camera angle and where the opponent is standing, considering both of them tend to change on a second-to-second -second basis, um, and considering tilting the analog stick, as I showed you earlier, really doesn't change your movement, it's... the movement system in this game is not that good. And also, just like um, any other attacks, you can cancel out of the um, out of the special move. Uh, if, in fact, if the opponent backs out of it, uh, that's usually the best thing to do. Apologies, I didn't really plan out this video all that well. This is basically this is basically just me trying to make sense of the game myself. It, it's a game that I kind of run without consciously using a lot of strategy. Yeah, I think that's actually what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna restart and just kind of explain what each enemy does and how best to deal with it. Because really, you can use pretty much any character that you want to. Um, in my experience, Kotaro is fastest, but I think that also just depends on your playstyle as well. I, I don't think there's an objectively fastest way to play this game, and if there is, I doubt that I've found it. It is a bit of a pain to reach your thumb over the right stick like that, but um, I guess that is a blessing of having no control over the camera, is that the right stick doesn't do anything anyway, so it doesn't matter if you bump it a little bit. Oh yeah, that's another thing. You can kind of abuse the animation cancel to make it look like you're uh, doing inappropriate things with your sword. I enjoy doing this. Yeah, see, sometimes they just like to block you and... There's really not much you can do, but keep attacking and hope they, they just lower their guard. You can try to get behind them, but considering your key meter probably isn't that high, it's really not worth it. And that's the other thing about the animation cancel, is it kind of centers you to... Uh, it, it just kind of recenters you on your opponent. Uh, you see, sometimes they just go down really easy, and it's not worth it to try to get behind them. A lot of this run is just improvising and... <laughs> improvising and not knowing words to say. A lot of people have wind-ups that just allow you to hit them if you have a fast enough attack. A lot of the time you'll see me try to hit them with my special after parrying. That's because it's usually the safest window to actually uh, do the startup animation. As you can tell, the opponents can also animation cancel and uh, block in the middle of an attack, which... Um, Frustrating when you're not the one doing it. I'm sorry, this is a complete mess because I really just don't know what to say about this game that isn't just completely obvious. <laughs>
This really has ended up being a complete train wreck, and I apologize. At least I have explained something about the controls. If there's anything to gain from this video. Honestly, I think that's about the best way to sum this up. I don't have anything else of substance to say at this point. I'm probably going to edit this down considerably. But, um, yeah, I guess that's how you play Do Ya game. Take from that what you will.